You guys know by now, but I love a good challenge. One 30 minute walk every day for 30 days. It's not so much that I'm worried about the physical moving aspect of it because a walk is a walk, 30 minutes is 30 minutes. It's am I going to resist the urge to be lazy for 30 days because I am the queen of finding excuses to get out of a workout. On my weekends, when I'm about to hang out with friends or family, am I gonna wanna sneak in that walk? That is the question. That's the real test of truth in this challenge. I don't really know what my expectations are other than just to hopefully feel better in some way physically or mentally because walking just is known to be good for you. I mean, we can look at a list here of just reasons why walking is good for a person. With that being said, let the daily walks begin. I might be late to this information, but if you lay out your gym clothes the night before or the morning before or whatever, it makes like wanting to get ready for the gym and go like a lot easier. I just got home from work from a 12 hour shift. I really don't feel like going for a walk, but it is part of the challenge. So I'm gonna change into my workout clothes and then off to the gym I go. Also, if you're wondering if I'm gonna be taking my Kindle with me to the gym, the answer is absolutely yes. My 30 minute walk day five is finished. I feel fantastic. This is my second 12 hour shift in a row and I have to work again in the morning. And surprisingly, I have a lot of energy and I technically did like the 30 minute walk, but for three minutes and one minute intervals, like randomly throughout, I think I did, I did one at like 10, 20, 30. I just did like a one minute sprint on like a high speed because I was feeling it. I don't sprint, okay? I don't run, I don't sprint, not my thing. I was, however, randomly up for the challenge and I did it and it was great. So yeah, I know it's a walking challenge, but I decided to do a couple sprints because why not? So that's it for today. I need to hurry up, eat my dinner, go take a shower because it's almost 8.30 and I have to wake up at 5.30. I've officially completed the first week of this walking challenge. Can I just say, I don't think I've ever had this much energy in my life. No amount of coffee, cold brews, energy drinks have given me this kind of energy before. It's really weird. It almost feels fake that when I get done with a walk, I have like all this great energy, but I think it's like endorphins or serotonin or something like that because it's unmatched. I have just like all this energy. I feel like I can conquer the world. I have all the time in the day to do what I have to do. I talk faster if that's even possible. One week in, feeling good. It's technically about a four week challenge, 30 days, about a month. So about four weeks. So three, three weeks left to go. Um, yeah, really high hopes for this challenge. I've been feeling great and it's only been seven days. I just finished doing some strength training. I worked legs today, and because I'm already in the gym, I figured I would go ahead and do my cardio for today, my 30 minutes of walking on the treadmill. I think I'm gonna do a 12 330. Instead of just a normal walk, I'm gonna do the 12 inclined speed of three for 30 minutes. I've decided right now in this moment, I wanna make a coffee. I feel like my energy is really good. I've been really happy. I feel like I've been in a really good mood. And I think we all know that exercise, walking, any sort of movement is going to release some kind of serotonin is going to make you feel in a way better. It is good for your mental health. It is good internally and then in return makes you feel good on the outside as well. I understand though there are some days where we don't wanna exercise, we don't wanna move, we don't wanna do anything and that's totally fine. I will say though, making myself do this challenge of walking every single day, I'm noticing little differences in my day to day and it's been making me feel really good. And I can't complain about that. Even on days that I have to go to work and come home pretty late and go down to the gym and walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes, I genuinely feel better at the end of the day. And I know that's so annoying. It's the most cliche thing ever to be like, I feel great after a workout. But like I do, I just do. Reflecting on this challenge, I can only say positive things with just how I've been feeling overall, physically and mentally, just the great moods that I've been in. This has been a really fun challenge. And as you guys know, I love a good challenge video, especially when it forces me to um, 
get a workout in. I am very fortunate physically to be able to participate in workout challenges such as this one or some of my other previous ones. However, there are millions of people in the world who are unable to participate in activities like this for like a number of reasons. I work in healthcare, I do physical therapy, I am somebody that helps people move. I help them get stronger, regain their strength, um, learn how to be independent again, especially working in a hospital setting where we see people after car accidents, you know, you know, near fatal injuries, um, illnesses, diseases, things that have taken away their strength and their ability to move independently. Sometimes I work with patients though that either from birth or from an accident, injury, illness, something along the way. Whether that be that they are bound to a wheelchair, they suffer with chronic fatigue, a chronic illness, and oftentimes with physical therapy in a hospital setting, our job is to help people get up out of the bed, learn how to move in a functional way again, um, you know, get into a chair, get them walking, whatever the situation is. And if I go to work with a patient who is unable to walk or unable to do exercises and movement out of their bed, I have to kind of rethink how my treatment session is gonna go and cater it to them specifically. I feel like in the health, wellness, fitness industry, and just in general, you learn from a very young age that cardiovascular health is important. Things like walking, things like running, cycling, swimming, all of those things are so great physically for your body. But I started to think, what if somebody physically cannot participate in those activities? What do they do instead? Because they deserve every right to move as well. They deserve the ability to exercise. They deserve to have some other form of exercise. So because of that thought I had in my head, like how does somebody, for example, who's in a wheelchair, how did they get their cardio? I mean, obviously if you are physically able to use your arms and push yourself, like that is a workout in itself, but how else do people who are, for example, in a wheelchair, how do they get their good exercise, like what do they do? So of course I took to the internet, I took to YouTube and I found this girl's channel, her name is Ella Beaumont and her channel is called Ella's Wheelchair Workouts. And instead of going for my typical walk today, I wanted to take one day to just do a different workout that may still kind of check off the cardio workout. I also wanted to try this seated workout to maybe inspire other people. Maybe I have subscribers or family or friends of subscribers that might watch this, that maybe they have some sort of physical limitation where they can't get up and walk or run or swim or cycle or whatever. And they might see this and think, oh wow, there actually is some kind of exercise program out there for me. Maybe they'll get inspired by Ella's YouTube channel, just knowing that there are other options and then maybe this can be shared. I'm gonna put Ella's YouTube channel in the description of this video. Be sure to go check her out, subscribe to her channel, give her some love. Um, she looks like the sweetest this person just from her videos and I'm really excited to do a workout with her today. Okay, I'm gonna be doing her, let's see, this is a circuit workout. Okay, let's, let's give it a try. And we're gonna do elbows in, we're just gonna do our punches. So right, left, right, left. Let's get started. Okay, so the One day I'll be coordinated. One day. One, and off you go. Right, then left. Right, then left. Done. I trust her. She's got shredded arms, so she knows what she's doing. I'm not gonna lie. No equipment. My arms are feeling it. <laughs> My arms are so tired. Slowing down. As I'm doing this workout, I'm also thinking to myself, even if you are physically capable of walking and doing whatever other exercise, this is also great if you're, you know what, if you're just feeling so dang lazy one day, or maybe you're experiencing like some depression or anxiety about the gym or anything like that, you can, I'm just like sitting on my couch just doing this and like my heart rate's up. I'm, I'm a little, I'm, so, I'm following her while talking to you guys. I'm, I'm like, Breathe a little bit heavy. I got a little sweaty coming from 
my forehead, okay? And I'm somebody that goes to the gym pretty frequently. I can lift heavy weights. I can do a lot of cardio. This I think is a great substitute if like you're just feeling really tired or lazy or again like you're feeling you're sick or sad or whatever it is you just don't want to get up off your couch, you don't want to leave your bed. Whatever the reason is, fill in the blank, you could still do this from the comfort of your own home, your couch, your bed, whatever, and you're still moving if you want. Again, there are some days where if you're sad, tired, whatever, you just need to lay in bed and you just need to stay there and you just need to feel sorry for yourself and that's fine. But if there's a day where you're like, man, I don't want to do anything, but I kind of want to, but I don't want to like get off the couch, I don't want to go get my car and drive, you could do something like this. So don't sleep on these kind of workouts either because they can be for anybody, by the way. That was such a fun workout. I got my heart rate up. I was able to move my arms a little bit. And honestly, without the weights, I could, I, I'm gonna be honest, I can feel it. Um, it's interesting when you take the weights away and you're just doing those like small movements, how you can still really feel it and you're still getting a good workout in. Today is day 20 of one walk a day for 30 days. I have been feeling so incredible. It's not even funny. I mean, again, shocker, like exercise is good for you. Uh, riveting content. I'm gonna go for an outdoor walk, a little outdoor stroll. It's a little bit later in the evening as well. It's 6.30 right now and I have a whole hour until the sunset. So I'm gonna get my 30 minute walk in outside because it's beautiful out. Hello, hello. I just finished walk number 25 out of 30 and I'm feeling so great, feeling awesome. What a great 25 days it has been. Truly have been feeling my absolute best. So much energy, just feeling happy. So many great benefits from this little challenge. I just did a little treadmill walk today. I was actually listening to the podcast called It Pretty Basic. It's with Alicia and Remy. They're two YouTubers who I absolutely adore so much. I just love listening to their episodes. I think they're so funny and it's just so entertaining. It makes the time fly by like that. I have five days left of walking every day for 30 days and I can't imagine the last five days are gonna be that difficult or challenging because it has been such an incredible 25 days so far. Looking forward to the last couple days of this challenge. Hello. I just got back from one of my 30 minute walks and I just feel amazing, honestly. I'm sitting on my balcony and I am having an arugula, basil, mozzarella, tomato, salmon salad. I did some olive oil and a little bit of balsamic glaze. It is so good. As I was going for my evening walk today, first of all, the weather is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, spring has fully sprung. It was so sunny. The sky is like the most beautiful shade of blue. The flowers are blooming. It's just gorgeous outside. So not only do I have that time to reflect and like enjoy nature and just like be in the moment, listening to music, just feeling the sun on my skin and like the breeze, it's so beautiful. But also I'm just realizing throughout this entire challenge, just like how incredible walking really makes you feel overall. It's not even I'm thinking about it as exercise. I'm just thinking about this is the opportunity for me to move my body today and how good it feels just all around. Usually for me, because of the schedule that I work, don't typically come home and do a workout or do any kind of movement because I have a physically demanding job. I'm on my feet all day. I don't really feel the need to do that. And frankly, I do value sleep and just like rest time over the need to get a workout in. But when I've been coming home and walking, it's like, okay, this is only 30 minutes of my evening. It's not, it's not taking up that much time. Like I scroll in bed on TikTok for like hours before I go to sleep and just knowing that I can come home, quickly change, like do a 30 minute walk and still have time to do other things in my nightly routine and feel well rested and then still wake up on time the next day. It just, I don't know, it's put into perspective how just a 30 minute walk of any kind, any 30 minutes of exercise or movement or anything is really such a small part of your day. 
like truly when you think about it. So I don't know, I think just the more you make something a habit and throw it in your routine, it actually becomes, I don't know, it becomes normal. Like it, it doesn't feel like a chore at this point to do these walks. Tomorrow's my last day though, and that is gonna wrap up an entire 30 days of one walk per day. And I'm super happy about that. That's all I have for now though. I'm gonna enjoy my salad and the weather. And I will see you tomorrow on my last day of walks. Let's talk about why this workout challenge was the best thing that I've ever done. I cannot express just how incredible I felt the last 30 days by simply incorporating a singular 30 minute walk into my everyday routine. It felt a little bit like an inconvenience in the beginning, but it quickly shifted into like, okay, this is now just a normal part of my day-to-day -day routine. This feels normal. My body was like almost craving a walk. And these were very simple walks. I was not running for 30 minutes. I wasn't like necessarily doing an incline every time. I would say 90% of the walks were just plain old regular, strolling on the treadmill, strolling outside at whatever like normal, comfortable pace. Um, and then the other 10%, I was either doing like an inclined walk, a speed walk, or I think like one or two of the days, I just did like a very, very light jog, but I was still like in the premise of walking. As the days were going on, I just noticed so much how my mood was improved. I felt happier. I felt more confident in myself. I noticed that my clothes were starting to fit better. I noticed that I was not dealing with a lot of the normal bloat that I have. I didn't really experience fatigue. I had quite literally the opposite. I feel like I had so much energy and just, I was like ready to conquer the day, the next day, like whatever. I was sleeping so much better at night just by doing the walks. Now I know when I do these workout, exercise, celebrity diet challenges, people are always dying to know, did you lose weight? Did anything change? Like what happened? And honestly, this was a challenge where actually the scale didn't budge at all. I actually maintained the exact same weight this entire 30 days, but something that was really exciting was that I lost an inch and a half on my waist and an inch total between my thighs, which I would rather take any day than the scale weight changing. As long as like my clothes are fitting better, I'm feeling good. That's all that matters. And honestly, those little like numeric changes were honestly just a bonus at that point because I could not describe just how good I felt in these 30 days. So truly those were just added benefits, added bonuses to just the entirety of like how I was feeling. I completely forgot to get before footage, therefore like after footage, I feel like it's not as exciting, but I am gonna compare two photos, one sort of like 30 days-ish ago, and then like a more recent photo of me. You may not see a significant difference, but I definitely do. I definitely feel like my waist looks a little bit smaller. I definitely feel a little bit more leaner, a little bit more toned. Um, yeah, I just think that's pretty incredible for just a mere 30 days of just walking. I've been consistently keeping up with the daily walks. I have been trying my absolute hardest to actually prioritize walking for 30 minutes because 30 minutes is genuinely such a small part of your day. It's to me has been something that I'm like, why haven't I been doing this all along? Like I'm physically capable of this. Why would I not do this? So instead of thinking like, oh, a walk is like my workout, I like have to work out. This is more like, oh, walking is now like a chore on my list almost. It's like a thing I have to get done in my day. Like I have to wake up, I have to brush my teeth, I have to go for a walk. That mindset has really shifted me. It's encouraged me. It's made me more excited and motivated to like work out because I've prioritized it versus thinking like I have to go to the gym and now it's like, oh, well, I just have to do my walk and then like I'm good. If you made it this far, you already know I love you the most. Thank you so much for watching. Because I'm somebody who loves challenges, leave a comment down below at what workout challenge you think I should try next and I just might do it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.